Dr. Royce Lee was very instrumental in uh, getting me motivated. Um, he asked me what I wanted to do with my life, and I said I wanted to go to physical therapy school. He said, that's very tough. You may not make it. So that sort of helped me motivate and start studying. And in school, the professors that I spoke of earlier were very instrumental. But after I graduated and really before I decided to open up my own practice, um, I was able to talk my old boss into opening up a satellite clinic in Commerce because I saw the need. So at the time I graduated, um, there was still a high demand for a physical therapist. And when I was going to ET as an undergrad, I had a part-time job at a rehab agency in Greenville. So he was very instrumental in helping me through PT school. And at the time there was such a high demand, if you could find a place that was interested in you, they would help subsidize your uh, tuition or books or housing or meals. So I was able to get a small stipend as long as I promised after I graduated to go work for him. So after I graduated, I had an immediate job in Greenville for the only physical therapy place in Hunt County. So I worked for him for 10 years. And at the time that I decided to work for him, he naturally had me sign a non-compete contract with the stipulation that if he ever sold the company, I would be removed for all compete clauses. So he did sell the company 10 years after I worked for him. So that gave us a great opportunity to start our own rehab agency which we did in Commerce. Uh, again, my wife is from Commerce. I loved Commerce when I was here at ET, so it was a natural fit that we decided to make Commerce our home. I met my wife in 1985 or early 1986. Uh, she was actually um, with a group of friends. One of them happened to be my roommate, who was also named Greg. So that was sort of confusing, but I was always gone working part-time. At the time I had three part-time jobs. So I was pretty much either at school or at work, uh, particularly on the weekends. But um, somehow we met, uh, she was over at our A-frame at the time at Sigma Chi Village. So I met her, um, and there was a tradition. She was a Chi Omega, I was a Sigma Chi. And when you drop someone, that's not a bad thing. That just means you wanna be exclusive to that person. So I dropped her. I have um, two grown adult boys. They're both uh, alumni from Texas A&M Commerce now. Um, one's married and lives here in Commerce. The other one is um, living in Carrollton, Texas. I'm very grateful to the university that provided both of my sons with uh, the tools they needed to be successful once they graduated from Texas A&M Commerce. Since we started our own rehab facility in Commerce and since added one in Greenville, we had the opportunity to help students, present students, obtain their observational hours, which is a requirement to get into therapy school now. Oh, my legacy is a tough one. I haven't really thought about it, but I would hope that they would remember me as someone that was there to help them when they were starting out in their pre-physical therapy program. and. Even afterwards, um, we try to hire a lot of local kids that have graduated from physical therapy school. So that's really helped our practice staying local. So at this point, we have 13 therapists and most of them are from the surrounding area.